Oh boys, we have a new Phantom Forces update. A lot of new guns, honestly, a lot of new pistols. So it's kind of like a pistol update, but there are as new like assault rifles, like PDW carbine, things like that. So we're going to make videos on all the new guns, give them their own separate videos. So I hope you guys do enjoy that. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the STG 44. This gun has a lot of camera recoil, so I'd highly recommend the AMT Terminator. The rest of my setup is going to be a compensator, folding grip, blue laser, and then no ammo type. It does have a 5.56 ammo conversion, which gives you double the ammo, but you do lose a lot of damage and only gain 100 fire rate. So I don't know if that's completely worth it. I haven't tried it out yet. Maybe that'll be a whole separate video in itself. My team's getting absolutely dominated, so we're going to have to work on turning that around. The gun reminds me a lot of the M3A1. However, with like the 15 kills... Oh, it's also double XP. I forgot to mention that. However, with like the 15 kills that I've gotten with this gun so far, I already kind of prefer this. Maybe it's just because it sounds better in my opinion, or the gun just feels like it handles better. I don't know. I personally prefer the SDG44 over the M3A1. And it's also because it's a assault rifle rather than like a PDW. So it gives a little bit of a variety to it, but I don't know if it's anything that will really change anyone else's mind. I just think it's just a little bit better. Now, if it's actually better, like stat wise and everything, I don't know. Don't hold me to that. I'm just kind of guesstimating. It's very much my videos. Whenever new guns come out are very much initial impressions. I don't go use these guns for a few hours before I record. I slap some attachments in it and I jump on a game and kind of just give you guys live how I feel about it. A map like Metro is definitely where you want to use this gun. Maybe even a little bit of warehouse, depending on how you position yourself. So if you do a lot of good positioning and you actually care about where you are on the map and play for your gun, you could use this on longer range maps. You're just going to have to play a lot more passively Wow, that's a lot of people. Look at all the plus 100s as this counts as kill. It looks so weird. You know what's wild? For years that I played Phantom Forces, there was no double XP ever for like the first five years. And now it seems like we're getting it pretty often. It's kind of weird. I mean, I, I enjoy it. I like seeing that we're getting double XP. I, I definitely always thought it sucked because it could take a really long time for people to level up. So giving people the ability to level up a little bit faster, especially when new updates come out, if they're like a rank away from getting the new gun or something, it's nice that they can get a little bit of boost to try to help them get there oh dear god i'm gonna die here i'm so screwed i'm just kind of holding left clicking teammate that's a ks 23 i'm scared i'm scared i'm scared i don't know how he didn't kill me but whatever i think i'm gonna have to push up trying to go for this long range is not necessarily working out but close range the two shots are so nice man hitting a double body shot and having someone die is so good so you can we just spam some grenades back there because it's hard to get this push while i do like using amt terminator i do feel slightly more inaccurate with it most of the time do i hear him right here i did i thought i heard him moving Let's see if we can get another guy here mm, be careful chris oh, come on man i need a one more bullet and we could have probably pulled up like five or six kills there he may clear that guy out for us thank you all right all right my team's putting in the work now i did say we would have to turn this around because we were getting absolutely dominated at the start and we have look at that multi man watching how fast people melt with this gun is honestly really enjoyable no the second i go to push they all start team spawning oh my god there's so many <laughs> there's so many run just run Ah, the two shot <laughs> only having two bullets left i wanted to reload but they just kept coming that was terrible but i do know that they should all be like down an escalator right now and no i'm not gonna be able to push they're coming from every side i just need to get to this one just let me no they're oh my god usually the escalator i was trying to go right down is the main one but they're literally coming up from every single one in their spawn right now it's so hard to get an actual push and set up like a really good spot i think i just need to push down this green hallway there's nothing else i could do they have one guy coming up behind me in purple but i'm gonna ignore him for now because it's none of my business pick up a nice triple collateral there and he just wrecked me with the dbv well played man one two oh okay i also don't know how far of a range this can two shot i haven't looked that deep into the gun i probably should since i'm making a video on it but yeah you guys can kind of learn with me okay can two shots the torso up to about 45 studs maybe 50 not bad not bad at all that gives you a decent bit of range to play with so you don't have to be on top of each other or excuse me on top of the enemies by any chance but maybe pick up a few kills here very nice and they're all dead again never mind they have one guy over here in purple that we can see on radar so i'm gonna try to push over here and clear him out before i go back towards their spawn the less chance we give them to flank us the better oh my god i'm missing i'm missing so bad luckily i don't think he has a gun that could easily wall bang me and we died to the dbv again damn there's two of them using the dbv i mean go off with your bad cells but come on man give me a chance let's see if we can dump a grenade in the far back that'll give us some time to push up a little bit of crowd control if you will a little bit of shotgun through a sign if you will there we go nobody else is spawning there it seems nobody down this escalator oh one guy that means they're getting spawns over by purple 
but I don't want them to rotate out just yet. We're not too deep into their spawn where they'll just stop spawning here. Uh, we would need more of our teammates back here to force them to spawn elsewhere. So the longer I can kind of chill back here, the more I can just pick people off unless they stop spawning as soon as I say that. Maybe a bunch of team spawns towards purple is what it's seeming like. Relax, relax. Oh my God, Ace Hybrid Alpha dude just ran out. Guns a-blazing on me. This game's gonna end so much earlier. Wow. We were down by like 200 points at the start of this game. I think I joined, we capped Hill and we have not lost it since. That's actually insane. <laughs> we just went crazy on them, what? Okay, you know what? Since we're not that far into the video, I'm gonna throw on 556 five, ammo. We're gonna play a little bit of next round. It's literally like the worst map possible. Oh my God. Everyone voted Crane Sight revamp. Mm. I'm just gonna say it here. If you guys made it this far in the video, agree or disagree, just let me know in the comments. Every map that has a crane on it is a bad map. So like crane site, crane site revamp, mall, even uh, whatever other maps, Mirage, all have cranes on them. Tell me they're not just terrible maps. Give me a reason why. Like if you disagree, give me a reason why. I think they're terrible because the crane adds absolutely nothing to the game itself. Uh, and it just gives people a reason to hide up there the entire round, which makes the game a bit boring. For a game like an FPS, like on team deathmatch, it's sort of understandable. But when you're playing a game, like if you really want to talk about like game modes and objectives and things like that, giving someone a reason just to hide on the roof or excuse me, hide on crane and not really play the game. And also the fact that this map is just so big, man. It's absolutely ginormous that half the map isn't even used because it's too big nobody can even get there so i'm seeing that the recoil on this is very good using 556 a lot better than i expected it to be where am i getting shot from it's the same guy i was looking over there and i felt like i didn't see him so i just stopped looking oh my god yeah the recoil on the this is so much better so actually using it as a more generic 556 kind of gun insanely good now damage wise like i said you do drop off quite a lot however I think let me actually check the stats real quick so we do still keep oh my god it's a three shot up to 60 studs wow that is incredibly strong i did not realize it was that powerful okay i'm gonna have to use this for a little bit longer than i wanted to because it seems like it's a lot better than i expected i think my teammate just cleared out everyone on the roof here so we actually have the chance to push up shouts out teammate those two guys there this ace hybrid kid Dude, this soroki r kid has killed me literally every time i don't understand can i get up here and kill this guy please Unless he's already dead. No, he's right here. He's literally ridiculous at the game. Pick up these two kills here. Now we actually have our spawn back to ourselves. Or at least I hope so. There is a guy underneath us. So let's see if we can pick him up first before we move out. Now the main goal here is to get into parking garage and get up top. Especially with how accurate this gun is. I could actually fight at really long distances. So I'm not too stressed out. Someone is destroying every window known to man down there. My god. I have a guy up on the crane now. Okay, so I think I'm gonna just go ahead and wrap up the video because of how slow this is the 556 ammo might be actually really good I think I'm gonna make a completely separate video just talking about it because I think it deserves one But thank you guys so much for watching and there should be more videos on all the new guns coming out in the next few days. Peace out